Hey there everyone, welcome along again to the Bodily and Body Weight Workout. Uh, it's going to be just under 30 minutes long. We're going to start with 30 seconds on, uh, no rest, and then go into another 30 seconds of a different exercise. Do those two exercises four times, so we're in there for four minutes, and then we'll have a short rest, and then we'll kick on to the next part. So we'll get started straight away here. So if you need to grab a towel drink bottle, do a few movements, pause it, Warm yourself up and we'll get started in 10 seconds. First exercise we have is butt kicks. So you're just going to be on the spot, lifting your legs up behind you, jogging the spot, kicking your butt, just getting the body nice and warmed up to start off with. Every single time, kick up nice and high so your heel flicks the backside, you're staying high up on the balls of your feet. Just jogging your weight on the spot. Think about warming up through the hamstrings, the back of your legs, warming up your knees, and just getting the heart rate up nice and high to begin with. Three more seconds. Okay, take a really wide stance, and you're gonna go side to side here. So we're trying to open up the leg that stays straight, the adductors to this side and this side. We're working the hips, so the glutes, hamstrings, quads as well a wee bit of the leg we're going over towards. Three seconds. Okay, straight back into butt kicks. Ten more seconds. Three to go. Good. Back into our stationary side lunges. Wide stance. Toes pointing almost straight. They can turn out a little bit. Try to make sure your knee tracks over your toes as you go side to side. Try to keep your feet flat the whole time. Five more seconds. Okay, butt kicks again, so we're halfway through this warm up. Three seconds to go. Back to our side lunges. That's it, try and get down really low. The lower you can go, the better. Because you'll just activate more muscle fibers the lower you can go the better range of motion you have. Okay, last time here of each. Eight more seconds. That's it. Now try to speed it up a little bit. Okay, good. Wide stance here again, side to side. Good. Ten more seconds. Set, so push it out, right to the end, nice and low. Resting in three seconds. Good. Okay. Have a quick rest. Grab a drink if you need to. We'll take about 30 seconds. So the next four exercises we have are going to be 30 seconds on, but 
but then you get the 10 seconds in between. Four stations done four times through. Good work. Get rid of this man. Okay, we'll begin in 10 seconds. The first one you're going to do is press up position on my count. So everyone in the press up position now, we're going to lower ourselves over 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back up to the top. Don't have to do the push up, you just roll yourself back up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up and go again. 10, 9, Okay, we're gonna so stay down that same position. We're gonna do shoulder taps. So here, tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder. Wide stance with your feet, hands just directly, well, inside your shoulder width. Inside the shoulder width, so it's a narrow, quite a narrow hand position. So that when you take your hand away, your base of support is almost directly under you. Try to keep your hips as level as possible when you take your hand away and you touch the shoulder. Alright, next exercise, we're going up on our feet here. You're going to come down, sit down in the squat, and you're just going to hold the squat position. Hold the bottom position, so you come down, and just hold that position there. Now we want this to be an active position, so what I mean by that is, we're not just down there and relaxed, you're down there and you're tensing. So you're going to try to spread the floor through your feet as best you can. So you're trying to push your feet out. You're not rolling onto the outside, but even press through your feet and you're trying to push out to the side. As soon as you do that, you feel your glutes engage more, your quads engage more, and your hamstrings engage more. Three more seconds. Okay, good. Then we're going to do a squat jump. So you squat down, jump up. Three seconds. Okay, so squat, jump. Try to absorb every landing, so it's a nice soft landing on your toes, absorb and then drive it up with a lot of power. Eight seconds to go. Okay, back to our push-ups. Now I'll count 10 seconds. If you can't quite last the 10 seconds, just have your own count, but just keep going, keep going, keep going. Try to get above five. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the top. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, up, and it's all the way down. Good. Squat holds. Oh, so, let's get one. Shoulder taps. seconds. Think about a nice long body as you do this. So we're not sagging through the hips. We don't have the hips hiked up in the air. Nice and flat. Try to work through the abs and stabilize through your shoulders. Sitting down in the squat position, holding. Where we go. Okay, side on position, side on view. Come down, hold. Nice flat, straight back. Try to spread the floor of your feet, getting down low. Now chest, you should be able to look straight ahead. We don't want the hips high, causing you to look down. 10 more seconds, then we've got squat jumps. Yeah, let's 
squat jumps. All right, there we go. Five seconds to go. Right. Eccentric push up again. Start in five seconds. Two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, ten, nine, eight, seven, all, clock's always down, all the way down, and out, good, push up. Okay, shoulder taps. Two, one, there you go. Remember, wide feet, narrow hands. Try to keep your hips as still as possible. That's the number one objective for this. It's stabilized through your hips so that when you take your support away, your body doesn't move. Three more seconds. Okay, squat holds. Two, one, and squat. Okay, just hold there, hold, hold, hold. Think perfect posture. Feel your weight is through your feet. Should be a pretty even distribution between your heel and then the ball of the big toe, the ball of the little toe, think even, so it's like a tripod. 10 more seconds. Squat jumps. Three, two, one. Ten more seconds. That's it. Go push out. Nose is burning through the thighs, but let's go really push it hard. Okay, good. One more time through with our push-ups. Two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, shoulder taps. Three, two, one, off we go. Three more seconds. Okay, squat holds and then squat jumps. Okay, and down we go. Good, hold that position. Nice, strong body. Remember, hips stay nice and low. Looking straight ahead.
Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, then we're going to go into squat jumps. Three seconds. And where we go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, we'll take sixty seconds off. Have a rest. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Wipe yourself down. Okay, so now we're going to go into go to another four exercises, same sequence. Four exercises, 30 on, 10 off, four times through, four different exercises. Just give you a little bit longer rest, and then we'll get started. Okay, 10 seconds, we're away. The first exercise we're doing is an inchworm. So start here, touch your ground. Walk yourself out as far as you possibly can, and then walk yourself back into here. Stretch the hamstrings. Walk yourself out as far as possible again. Try and get so far out, like try in your head to get a point that you always want to touch. It's like your maximum range of motion. So you're really challenging yourself to get out as far as you can, and then come back in. So we're working a lot of muscles with this one but a lot of core stability and shoulder strength. Okay, next one. Squat down low, and you're just gonna jump your legs in and out. Okay, here we go, so low, we're just gonna bring the legs in and out. Your target, your goal, is to try to keep your head level the whole time, so you're not jumping up and down like this, we stay low, Get in a low squat position, and then you pretty much just shuffle your legs in and out from under. They go from hip width to wide, hip width to wide. Five more seconds. Okay, next one, transverse lunges. So from here, lunge diagonally backwards on about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so lunge backwards, touch your toes, of the foot that you're going towards. The one that stays still points straight ahead. The one that's going back turns in the direction you're going. As you go back, try to keep the stationary leg as straight as possible. So opening up those muscles as well. Okay. Ab knee tuck. So on your backside, hands supporting you, strain your legs out, pull back in. Actively think about the abdominal muscles. Think about the abs as you pull in and out each time that they're doing the roll. That's what's pulling you in. It's not your hips, it's your abs pulling you in and just very gentle through your hands. So therefore, therefore, just a little bit of support, but not much. Okay, back on your feet. Inchworm. So that's one time through. Three, two, one, walking yourself forward. Reach out as far as you can. Then come back in. Stay down, so you just stretch the hamstrings, and then you walk back out again. No need to stand up in between. So here. Good. 
low in and out squat jumps. <coughs> Three, two, one, where we go. Ten more. Good. Okay, go into those transverse lunges. <coughs> so diagonally backwards, keep the front leg straight. Ten more seconds. Five to go. And good. Okay, abdominal knee tucks. So perch up high on your backside. Gentle support from your hands. As you straighten your legs out, you lean back and then bring it all back together. As you bring it all back together, really crunch hard through your stomach muscles. And then out. Even a slight pause at the top to tense the abs can be more effective. Ten more seconds. Five to go. Good. Okay, inchworm. Three, two. One. So reach out, <coughs> reach out as far as you possibly can every single time. Really challenge yourself to get out, out, out. Then control, pull it back in. Okay, those low in and out squat jumps. Three seconds. It's good to stay more on the balls of your feet with this one. Eight seconds to go. Good. Okay, transverse lunges. So diagonally backwards. Nice and quick. Now that you know it, you can go a little bit quicker. Even though you go quick, we still hold technique to hold your form. Reach down, and touch the toes with both hands each time. Ten more seconds. Three seconds to go. Okay, good. Ab knee tucks. Pause it on each. So all the way in, hold, stretch out. So you go fast, all the way in, slow all the way out, fast, hold, and out. Try and maintain constant tension through your abs. So as you straighten out, tense your abs still. We don't want to relax the whole 30 seconds. Five more seconds. Okay, one more time through all those work sizes, and then you're done. Another one done and dusted. Three, two, one. Okay, 
That's it, good. Reach it out as far as you can. Really stretch out, then come back. Stretch hard through the hamstrings, then walk it out again. As far as possible. Okay, good. In and out, squat jumps. There we go. Ten more seconds. Two exercises to go. Transverse lunges and then abs. All right, three, two, one, go. Let's keep the intensity up right through the end. Hold your pace all the way through. Let's make the most of this last 60 seconds of exercise. Eight more seconds. Let's go, keep pushing hard here. If you're doing well, keep pushing hard. Okay, good. Last exercise. Three, two, one. Slowly away, drive in quick. Halfway. So that focus on those ab muscles to really get the most out of it. Push hard to get 10 seconds. Non-stop. Crunch it in and out. Drive the knees in fast. Squeeze through your abs. Three seconds. Two, one, and all done. All done. Another one done and dusted everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. It's always fun to do these workouts. Hope you're enjoying them. Hope you're pushing yourself hard. I look forward to hearing from all of you. And uh, have a great day.